Philippians 4 8 says to think on these things. I have a message to men. Women, you can you can hear this, you can listen to this message, but this message is for men. I'm calling men to stand up. I'm calling men to take their place. Uh, not long ago, I'm talking about where the spiritual things are concerned, where God is concerned, where Christ is concerned. Uh, men are asleep, men are passive, men are ignorant, men are lazy. To a large degree, you can get me talking about this. I can, I can just look at the church and mostly you see women serving everywhere. Uh, but we know that men can be inherently lazy, so can women, but I'm talking about men. Some time ago, maybe two or three years ago, I was in uh, the Westpac Lodge on uh, Camp Foster there. And um, it's a transient uh, billeting place. And uh, there was a, uh, a large uh, Marine gunnery sergeant that I struck a conversation with. Uh, uh, this dude had to be 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 about 230 pounds, and he was just ripped, solid muscle, he was ripped. And uh, as I struck conversation with him, he shared with me that he had just got back from uh, Afghanistan, serving an eight, nine month tour in Afghanistan. And prior to that, he'd been to Iraq on a couple of tours. And I was thanking him for his service and his patriotism and his sacrifice. Uh, but we got on the conversation with his family, and I asked, um, where are you at with the things of God? And he quickly, like so many other men, he quickly said, well, that, that spiritual stuff, that religious stuff, that's my wife's area. Uh, she controls that area of our family. That's her department. And I got upset with him, and I looked at him. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me help you out just a little bit here. Right now, America has two wars going on. We have Iraq and Afghanistan going on right now. What would America look like if we took all of our male soldiers, airmen, marines, and sailors, all the males out of uh, the war theater and brought them to the States and gave all of our fighting equipment to just our women service members? And we gave them all of our fighting equipment and we just sent women to war for us. And this gunny looked at me and he said, uh, well, America would look like a bunch of sissies. Now, he didn't use the word sissies. He said something else. But he said, America would look like a bunch of sissies. And I said, uh, and I could tell he was thinking about it. And he was processing that thing. He was connecting the dots. He got a picture. And he looked at me. He said, did you just call me a sissy? And I was still upset with him. I said, if the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. I said, see, what you need to understand is there's... Uh, these earthly wars are nothing compared to the spiritual warfare that's going on right now. And you're not even engaged because you may not know about it, because you're too lazy, or maybe you're just too passive. Your wife is out there fighting alone for your, the welfare of your family on the spiritual plane. Your wife is fighting, and you're just laid back not doing anything about it. You're not even aware she's fighting. And he just looked at me, and uh, I could tell there was a little bit of sting going on in him, but that sting that he was feeling was the truth. And... He just looked at me and said, shook his head and said, you know, I've never heard it like this before, but you're exactly right. You're right. Now, I haven't seen this guy again, but I, I, I pray to God that he was challenged enough to rise up and take his place and get involved in that spiritual battle that's going on. The one that's most important is eternal. So my challenge to you men, rise up, take your place. Second Samuel 10 and 12. There's a war. There's a war going on with the armies of Israel and the leaders are getting together and they're discussing the wisdom of battle, how we're going to approach this. I, I'll pick up your back here, you pick up my back there. But the bottom line in verse 12, that one verse, the men conclude and say, Today, let us play the men for our God and for our families. Whatever happens today, we will fight bravely and we will play the men. That's my charge to men today. Men, think on these things. God bless you.